Today we're going to show you some items that turn up in bathrooms, in the medicine cabinet, underneath the sink, all the time that can sell for a small fortune. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about some items that you can find in a bathroom that will sell for some phenomenal money. Let's go look at those right now. So today, obviously, we're talking about razors. Most people don't have a clue on the differences or the value in most of these items. So I always look in the medicine cabinets, underneath the sinks, or pretty much anywhere that someone might store something like this in a bathroom. These can sell for a small fortune. Here is a real early one with a toggle on the bottom to change how the blade cuts. This one sold for $1,925. In some cases, these were limited. I believe this one, they only made just over 5,000 of this Gillette toggle razor. Here's another one. This is a dial adjustable one. It has nine positions. They're all numbered on a dial. You would turn the end of this where you would hold on to it and it would adjust that. This is called a fat boy as well because they're very thick all the way around. It's not a slender piece. This one dates to around 1960. This one sold for over $1,000. You can see the tint, the texture, a very fine example of this item. Now here's a Gillette 195, another fat boy. These are all called safety razors as well. This one has a dial just like the other ones. It comes with some razor blades that would fit this. Now most people find these and don't have a clue on them or they'll look dark and dingy. Many of these can be polished up. In some cases, it's even worth it to have these replated and refinished. Believe it or not, these can sell for some phenomenal money. This one's from Canada and it sold for 960 US dollars. Now here's a Wolfman. Most anyone that says Wolfman on it is worth some big money. An excellent example here, fine chrome finish. I used one very obviously, $929 with 17 bids. Again, these are things that most people miss. Now these are missed by most people for one big reason. The razor blade in most cases will rust. They'll look at it and say, hey, that's just all messed up. It's not worth my time. Now in many cases though, the razor blade itself may be rusted, but it hasn't affected the razor itself. Some of these are gold plated, some of these are sterling, which we'll show you as well. This one sold for $929. Now here's a Persona brand. This one's made in England. It has a Bakelite box. 40s, 50s, maybe somewhere in that range. A fine example. It's a large one, very nice condition. Many times you will find boxed versions of these in a bathroom or in a vanity or something like that that have never been used. Those are the ones you want. In the case, untouched, those are where all the premium values go. This one sold for basically $800. Now here's an early 1900-ish Gillette razor. Gillette goes way back to the 19th century. Most of the earlier ones are boxed in wood boxes just like you see here still has the label. It has a case where the razor blades would go into the metal box as well as a pack of blades to go with it. 784 US dollars. This one sold out of Canada. Now here's another toggle and you can see how they were boxed when they were shipped to the store itself. Excellent example. Some of these could have been mail ordered also or come from say Sears or a JCPenney's catalog. $750. This one looks mint. It looks unused. That's what you really want. You would be surprised even bad condition safety razors still can sell for a ton, an insane amount of money in all honesty. Now here's a vintage 24 karat gold plated pocket edition. Rare, it's a classic. It has a gold plated box for the blades and the whole works in the original case. $675, a phenomenal piece. Most people wouldn't have had a clue that they made such things as this. Now here's a Darwin from the 20s or 30s and you can tell that by the handle on this itself. It has a art deco style to it, without a doubt. A very fine example. It's in cobalt chrome stainless, it says. Probably has a blue hueish tint to this. $649 for this classic in just primo condition. Now here's a 1958 Red Dot Gillette Fat Boy as well. Now the Red Dot, 
and we'll center in on it for just a second there, is right there. That way you can tell where the dial is turned to. That was a feature that was added. It's only in certain ones, and you can date them by that as well. Now, there are price guides and identification guides on these, as well as websites that are dedicated just to safety razors such as this. There's other ones that are dedicated to the other styles of razors, such as straight razors and things along that line as well. Excellent example in the box, six bids, $615. Now here's an interesting one for the man in your life. This was marketed as, here's a Gillette fishing kit. Comes with lures and a Gillette safety razor as well. This was something you'd probably give for Father's Day or something along that line. New, unused, complete. It looks like it's never been touched. $500. Just an unusual item. This could sell in the fishing supplies as well as the shaving section. Now here's a 1930-ish New President straight razor. Now they've sanitized it. Clean this up. It's ready to go. Never seen for sale. It's an oddball brand is the key on this one here. Many people want these so they can have an example of each maker for the safety razors back in the day. Another $500 bill on this one. Now, even new ones like this Rock Now Sailor 2 can sell for some good money. $495. Pristine, precision device here. This is well-made, well-designed, well-shaped, and well-weighted. So, excellent example at $495. A brand I would always look for, for sure. Now here's a 1905 double ring safety razor in a wooden box as well. The double ring is from the handle. At the base of the handle, there are two rings that turn, basically. That's the double ring on one of these. This is an early one, brass and stainless, very scarce, 475 bucks. Now here's a Bostonian by Gillette. This is from 1924. This is a classic one, 440 bucks. It has a very fine design. The handle itself is kind of like a diamond plate cutting into it. The majority of these as well have patent dates on them, which you can help use to date some of these. Just an excellent early one. Any of these box ones I would nab up in a second. Now here's a pre-1904 Gillette double ring patent applied for. The wording patent applied for is another way to date these. Just like in Hot Wheels cars, you can date them by whether it says Hong Kong, patent applied for, and all those sorts of things. Fine example here of another one of the double rings at the base. Excellent razor in the box. $405, 28 bids. Now most of the time you're only going to find these loose. I very rarely find any of these in the box. And in many cases I literally have pulled them out of a vanity or underneath a sink or from an old medicine cabinet and bought them that way for almost nothing. Even some high dollar ones as well. Now here's a solid sterling one. Gorham Gillette. Now there's even 14 karat and 18 karat gold version of some of these razors also so be on the lookout now I always look for these I do not care if it looks all ratted out and rusted again as I said most of the time it's just the razor blade which is steel the other portion of the razor itself in many cases is brass stainless or silver plated in some cases and it doesn't rust like you would think it's just covered with rust from the razor blade this one sold for three hundred and eighty dollars now, as I said, these are well collected. This one is refurbished and replated. Somebody replated this. It has a toggle on the back, which toggles back and forth. An excellent example here. Even refurbished, as I said, replated, as you can see. It's an adjustable, it's an original, $350. Now, on a side note, prior to these sorts of safety razors, they used straight razors like this one here. This is a Japanese version of them right here. These don't look like much to many people other than a hunk of metal, but this is the complete piece. They're signed just like you might see on a tang on a samurai sword. Very fine quality. Some of the best straight razors you can find. Over $1,000 for most anyone signed by a pro or a professional in this field. And as well, standardized straight razors here. This is a Bengal behemoth. Behemoth is the model made by Bengal. Now these can be traced back, if I'm not mistaken, for a few hundred years, these style. Very fine quality. $965. 
And lastly, we have a Wade and Butcher, a well sought after brand, very fine Sheffield made in England. This is probably from 1910, 20, somewhere in that range. And it's sold for $715. Now these last three aren't something most people will find unless they're looking at say an estate sale or a vintage sourcing location. I do buy these, I do have some in inventory right now. If you get the right ones, they'll sell immediately no matter what. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Guess who put their heads together in a shaving combination that saves you 60 cents? Not for <laughs> blades, but British Process Persona Stainless. Plus new Burma Shave. Start soaking action faster than any other leading lather. Both, Both for, for 98, 98 cents. cents. You're 60 cents ahead.